next topic in the banking 12th standard economics 6th lesson credit control measures of a RBI according to the R RBI Act of India Reserve Bank that means Reserve Bank of Indian Act of 1934 Banking Regulation Act of 1949 there are two methods of a uh, credit control measures um, that is a general or a quantitative measure selective or a qualitative measures we'll go for a general and a quantitative measures so in this measure first one is a bank rate policy here if the central bank want to control the credit means it will raise the bank rate if the bank rate keep on raising means means the deposit rate and other lending rate will of a money will go up upon raising rate of interest keep on increases now the uh, interest rate for the loan and then loan one more the other cutter but did not yet so the borrowers whoever is there no they are discouraged to take the uh, credit from the bank if suppose uh, if the uh, rate of interest is less it's come down so now upon the borrowers will be encouraged to uh, take the loan from the bank because the body and the interest rates when the less are go. next is a open market operation and narrow sense narrow sense in the sense a central bank will purchase uh, and sell the government securities in the money market broad sense na, not only a uh, reserve bank take uh, and sells the government security but also individual securities bills uh, they will purchase means uh, that individual person will pay the money to the uh, central bank then the central bank have a uh, payment or money they will have next uh, variable reserve ratio so if the commercial bank have excess cash reserves means uh, they will keep on giving a credit facility that means all will be uh, the loan will become cheap all will be having more money that means the inflation will occur so to avoid that one and the cash reserve ratio will be increased last uh, or topic pattern thousand rupees if the person is depositing in the bank na 20 percent will keep it as a cash reserve ratio for higher bala yar no ruba one day na panna 200 rupees in the cash reserve bank le which to me the 800 irkla that can be given as a loan and so like so if to control this one cash reserve ratio in the over creditors giving excess of a uh, credit facility excess of a reserve it is there in the commercial bank na the RBA what they will do and the reserve rate of the 20 percent length 50 percent market one up I rebel a thousand rupees of 500 you have to keep in the commercial bank other 500 the loan could come to you so that will happen next uh, is a variable reserve ratio variable reserve ratio means uh, the uh, commercial bank should increase the volume of credit means uh, uh, the central bank will lower the uh, uh, rate of interest so the cash reserve rate uh, ratio will be less uh, then they can expand the lending borrowing and this uh, loan facility can they they can increase this it means and they put uh, about 20 percent like the 10 percent suppose they have reserve ratio on the 20 percent went up a thousand rupees loan the 200 can keep it as a reserve on a 200 when any 100 rupees which are we put on a dean solitana they can give more money to as a loan to the public next is a variable reserve ratio this was a uh, first uh, the monetary policy first introduced suggested by K J M Keynes and the Federal Reserve Bank system in the United States of America it means the each commercial bank has to keep the reserve of a demand deposit because fix a deposit in the in the as a reserve in the central bank central bank uh, on the in the commercial bank when the demand deposit on fix a deposit on now member of the end of the car they will they have to keep in the RBI if a suppose on the rate increase po usually they will get a 500 crores 50 crores under the one the 60 crores are 600 crores are mati down if they increase the demand demand deposit fixed deposit update if they happen means 
the commercial bank they don't have a money ella amount rbi ku poidu so how they can give the loan so that time the credit creation will be less loan giving lending loan will be less if the commercial vice versa if the rbi lesser and the 500 crores badila podum 100 crores e vechukanga abdin they give the credit crash reserve ratio less panitaanga na all the commercial bank will have a more money so using that more money then they can create the more loan facility that's what that so the lending of a loan with a less interest or more interest that will be depend upon the rbi as a reserves uh, policy of a rbi only so next we'll go for the statutory liquid ratio so this statutory liquid ratio in the sense the commercial bank has to keep the uh, their reserve their own reserve not for any other condition of rbi and nothing but it commercial bank has to keep their own avangalukku thaniya vechirukonu eppadi cash avo illa gold avo they have to keep it so that also they have to and also any liability they have to pay means that amount also they have to keep it illa na the customers fixed deposit for one year or six month they deposited no and the maturity aite one they have to pay no that money also they have to keep it next we'll go for the qualitative or selective method of credit control in that there are six types rationing of credit direct direction action next moral persuasion method of publicity regulation consumer credit regulation marginal requirement security loan so there are six types and we'll go for starting one by one rationing of credit so this is aims to control the or regulate the credit uh granted by the commercial bank commercial bank they are giving more facility to more credit uh, to the uh, public no that should be controlled na they are following two methods first one a variable portfolio ceiling so in that uh, the the central bank fixes some ceiling maximum of amount of a loan and advances for every commercial every commercial bank they will keep this much of a money only you has to give as a loan and so they will give the maximum of a, a fixed a uh, rate of border they will keep that's what the uh, variable portfolio ceiling next is a variable capital reserve means uh, so the this uh, central bank fixes the ratio of capital commercial bank should have there in the bank munadiye paathom cash or gold or they have to keep in the, as a, their own as a facility as the uh, commercial bank ku no or asset vechirukno and the asset rate vand increase panidu nee vand if if it's there in the metropolitan city means you have to keep your reserve as a 500 example i am giving if it's there in the rural bank in the villages na you have to keep a 50 crores as a uh, your reserve amdine they can fix it so i'm giving a, i'm giving as a example so next is a, that is called as a variable capital asset ratio next is a direct action so these are the condition rbi if you are not following all this terms and condition according to the reserve bank na so what they will they will ref, refuse it rbi will ref, uh, refuse to grant any discounting bills if it's there in your bank na they will won't uh, accept as a bill discount and then next what they will do any financial accommodation if you are asking any fund if you are asking excess capital if you want if you ask means they won't give and also they will reserve ratio own bank ku mattum they will make excess they will make extra percentage you have to keep in as a penalty they will keep limit they will keep as a beyond the uh, whatever limit fixed for all the bank na unukku mattum vera percentage they will keep as a increasing as a penalty they will keep next is a moral suicide this means uh, the central bank giving uh, advices to the all uh, other banks uh, rules and regulation they will inform in the letter and they, they will request you or persuade you to follow the uh, reserve bank rules and regulation to cooperate with the rbi they will tell that is called as a moral suicide next uh, publicity publicity means uh, if the commercial bank is successful making course then they have to give a uh, publicity to the public you know that 
they so that they can have a opinion in the favor of a public so that they will do next is a regulation of a consumer's credit uh, if uh, the payment they can make the in number of in installment of a uh, credit loan so for five years to 52 installment you have to keep it as a loan repayment and the installment uh, a month they can reduce if, uh, if the month if they reduce means interest rate will reduces next is the change in the marginal requirement of a security loans means uh, this was followed in the ESA uh, in the federal uh, reserve system that means uh, the the loan should be given to the productive purpose and also they have to uh, control the the loan should be given to the stock exchange speculation excessive loan should not be given to the stock exchange of uh, speculations that is what the uh, change the marginal requirement loans next is a repo rate and reserve repo rate first is the repo rate means uh, the rate rbi is willing to lend to the commercial bank rbi vandu ellam commercial bank ku they wanted to give loan they lending the loan to the commercial rbi vandu commercial bank ku kudukra amount okay lend the loan as a facility with the security only bond or security the commercial bank kudutha matta da rbi kudupang okay va wow. according to the securities uh what the fund will be allotted so if that borrowing is expensive means uh, borrowing expense means uh, that a rate of interest will increase na appo the commercial bank don't have money in their hand at that time uh, the interest rate for the loan will increases yeah na this adds to control the inflation kaga they will this method they will follow similarly in the rbi decreases na interest rate na all the commercial bill bank will have a more money get the uh, so the commercial bank will give the uh, loan to the individual lesser interest rate that is what a repo rate reserve repo rate na uh, rbi vande commercial bank kitta nu vaanga they will borrow from the commercial bank that is called a reverse repo rate that means they will give a benefit some other benefits as a interest rate if they giving means all the commercial bank will keep the uh, more uh, if the interest rate is increases to keep more money you have to keep in the rbi they they uh, give the instruction na all the commercial bank will go and keep their amount of a money in the rbi more money all the money whatever most of the money whatever having in the commercial bank it's, if it's go to the rbi as a reserve abdina commercial bank will don't have a money apo how they will give a, a loan to the customers so to avoid that inflation only rbi will follow i'm giving more benefit or interest rate i can give so they they will ask a commercial bank to uh, be a uh, prefer for the park their money with the rbi with the higher safety so naturally if it's happen means a uh, high rate of interest will be there then the uh, uh, customer kudugura uh, and the um, commercial bank what they were giving a lending loan to the customers will reduce uh, if their reserve ratio is less na and they will commercial bank will have a more money then started giving a more loan that's what the reserve repo rate next we'll go for the reserve bank of india and rural credit so this is a uh, it should be take part in the uh, reserve bank will have to take part in the agriculture and industry activity rbi has been playing a vital role in the role in the agriculture financing of a country they are given so apart from that uh, then the rbi set up the separate agriculture credit department called as a, a farm agriculture credit department called as a agriculture credit department rbi has set up that was a um, um, that means they can give a, uh, they appoint a expert of uh, uh, staffs Uh, about the whatever the happening in the agriculture with the questioning of all the farmers they will keep according to that they will can give the loan to the uh, that farmers then also 
again what they will do uh, they eligible of uh, uh, any coordination of uh, uh, business institution is there in the rural department means as the agent they will keep and refinance with them that means the RBA cannot straightly go to the farmers and give the rural credit loan on the farmers credit that they cannot give what they will do they refinance to the other in the uh, banking sectors primary societies whatever in the villages or a rurals is there we can say the central cooperative bank uh, apex bank uh, cooperative societies no so in according to with the help of them uh, they will redirect the finance to the uh, farmers so this uh, rba can give the give a medium term loan up to the 15 month to 5 years they can give well, for what and all they can give means uh, land construction irrigation work uh, to buy the machinery of a tractors they can buy in the long term loan can be given to the permanent change in the land anything fully want to change in agricultural land uh, and old uh, debt on the repay kaga, again you can take the loan so these are all the uh, done by the uh, national bank of agriculture rural development was set up by the rba after before and all the, it was uh, rba only was started meeting all this but after 1982 this national bank of agriculture and rural development bank that is n-a-b-a-r-d has set up to look after all the agriculture uh, credit facility so thank you these are all about the uh, credit